everybody. Here is this improv story which is based on an idea given to me, which is a man is inspired to abruptly quit his job. Let the story commence. There was this guy called Craig. Guy called Craig. And he's sitting in work one day. Office job, typical office job. Office job doing a bit of this and that. Sometimes sent to make the tea. Sometimes asked to fill in some spreadsheets. Sometimes asked to print some stuff. Two years he'd been in that job. Been pretty much doing the same thing. Got nowhere. Boss said, don't worry, I'll get, get, you're going to move up in here. Never did. Never did. Overlooked for jobs. Overlooked. One day, he goes like that. He comes into work. He's sitting down at his desk. And somebody's uh, spilled a bit of water. You know, for the water. Uh, they've got a water cooler in there. And somebody had grabbed onto one of the wee plastic cups too tightly and it resulted in the water spilling near Craig's desk. Now, in there they had laminate flooring which made that bit slidey. Did anybody wipe it up? Nobody cared. Nobody cared. If it was next to the boss's desk, oh they would have quite uh, wiped it up then, just next to Craig's desk. Everybody knew Craig been in there for, had been in for two years and hadn't moved up. He was a dafty. Anyway, Craig comes in and he goes to sit down. He doesn't see the water there. And because it's laminate flaring, it's slidy. He slips and bangs his heat right against the desk. Hits the ground. And when he gets conked out, he gets knocked out, he's conked out. And when he wakes up, everybody's ordering him like, Craig, my God, are you alright? Just two people, the rest of them are still walking away. And he's like, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, what happened? You banged your head. Right, right. And he realises something. As he's sitting there, he's like, he feels different. He feels different. There's something different. He can't quite work out what it is. It's not just that he feels all dizzy and concussed. There's something else. It's something else. He realises that every matter of time during the course of that day there's something different. And here's here's the various things that happened that made him realise something had happened. He walked to the kitchen for his lunch to make his lunch. He liked making himself uh, scrambled eggs in the microwave. He walked to the kitchen and as he was walking to the kitchen as he was walking to the kitchen he realised he thought about needing a fart, right? He felt himself needing a fart and in his mind he thought, oh I could do with a fart right now I feel like I need a fart and, but he didn't, right? So he went to the kitchen and he came out of the kitchen after he'd finished his lunch, walked back to his desk and as he was walking back to his desk, he could smell a fart. Somebody in the office had farted. Now his first reaction was obviously, oh yeah, that was not me, was it? That was not me. He, but he knew it wasn't him. You know, he walked into it. He walked into this fart. It was already there, wasn't he? He farted behind him. And he was in the kitchen for quite a while. You know, he didn't fart out in the office, but go into the kitchen and then like, he comes out ten minutes later and, suddenly, and the fart's still there. That wouldn't happen. So as he, he walks, walks by, there's this fart lingering there. He's like, it's funny. I was just thinking about how I needed a fart. And he's looking about like, who did that? And there was what a uh, Mary, one of the workers there. This 50 year old. And she was like this. 
looking embarrassed. And he was like, don't know what that's all about. Anyway, he sits down and he, and he just doesn't think any merit and he's looking about, anybody notice that? He gets all of his work, spreadsheets or that sort of shit. And he thinks to himself again, here, I've got that feeling again that I need a fart. Obviously I'm not going to fart. I'm not going to fart in the fucking office. But then, he feels himself in his mind do the fart and just as he thinks that there's a sound for one of the other desks this <laughs> he's like that's mad was that somebody's seat no he could tell I was just thinking about farting and somebody farted and he looked around and there was uh, John one of the other office workers 20 year old guy and he was like this he said wait a minute no maybe maybe he has to check so Craig gets up for his seat and walks up to the photocopier room which is past John's desk and as he walks by, by oh, there's this fucking, oh, it's fucking humming, right, humming. And the funny thing is, it smelled of eggs. Ever since he had the eggs, he, uh, Craig had eggs in the kitchen. Nobody else had eggs. Only him. Only he had eggs and he knew it was only him that had eggs because he would put his name on the eggs carton. You know, in case anybody, I was the only person that had eggs, believe me, trust me. He's like, wait a minute, what? What? And just for one final test, do you know what he did? He said, oh, don't everybody, I'm going out for a wee second. They're like, where you going? Out for a fag. You don't smoke, I'll be back in a minute. He goes round to a, a shop and he, he goes, uh, can I get one? Goes in and gets a, uh, gets a picora. He gets picora. Goes, uh, gets some picora. Gets some picora, right? Eats it. Comes back to the office. Sits then. After a while, he realises he needs. He feels that he needs a fart, and in his mind he goes, like that. And he's there, Jamesy. James, eh, this wee guy that walks here. Okay, <coughs> gets up and walks by, by Jamesy. Eh? It's humming a picora. James is like that. And just for one final test, he goes, I need to, I'll just be a wee second. He goes out to a shop and he eats lots of uh, like Brussels sprouts, he hates Brussels sprouts, hates them, hates them. Eats a few, comes back, waits. He needs a fart. <coughs> Margaret, Margaret who works in there, the receptionist, she's like that. And Craig walks by her, uh, you know, the, re the reception, humming of Brussels sprouts, farts man. In conclusion, he deduces. He, ever since banging his head, now has the power to fart through another person using his mind. Right? And he's like, he has a bit more fun with making people fart and all that, right? And he's like, wait a minute. I might be able to get a job out of this. There's guys who do this for a living, I bet. He doesn't know how, but he goes, I'm out of here. He goes to the boss and he says, here. That's two years I've been here, I'm away. And the boss says, don't leave. We're just about to promote you. Aye, right. You've been telling me that for ages. 
get lost, man. And the boss says, what are you going to do? Where will you work? Where are you going? Where are you moving on to? Who's poached you? And Craig says, I'll, I'll get a job in the bottle. And the boss says, how? Then what? Then this. And Craig goes like that. And the boss goes, Then that. The boss is like, ah, no way. Craig just walks out of like that. See ya. So Craig's walking about. And he's like, right, how do I get a fucking a job at this? He's up the town in Glasgow. And he goes like to everybody, gather round. Everyone gather round. You know, like a busker. Or somebody, one of these people that does a show. He says, gather round. Gather round. So they're all gathering them. And they're all like, ah, oh, what's this? We wains up there with them. With them all. Doing a bit of show. You know, we wains on in school. You've got the old deals. You've got just guys. It's during the daytime. And he's like, gather round. I'm going to show you something that's going to amaze you. And it goes like this. He points at one of them, right? And honestly, you've got the, the blue rinse, purple rinse brigade, or whatever you call them, you know, the old deals with the purple hair, the blue hair. Old guys, the kind of old guys that, that walk about with their horns behind their back. Caps on and all that. You've got wains. you got sort of unemployed people or people that are just kicking about. You got office workers on their way for A to B that'll just got a bit of spare time. You got you got all sorts of they apologise for the running nose. And he goes like yeah. Now watch. And they're all like they're looking about to see is it gonna be juggling? Is it gonna be spinning plates? What? What's it gonna be? And he goes like that to one of them. And as he does that this old woman, she goes like, oh. and everybody goes, hey, there's one wee guy that's like, hey, and Craig goes, hey, hey, and the wee guy goes, and then his wee pal's like, ah, ha, ha. these are wee guys that are dog in school and all that. And there's an old guy here there. He's like, this is disgusting. What's what's going on? Absolutely disgusting. And Craig goes like that. And the old guy goes. <coughs> the old guy's like, oh dear. Because he's followed through because he's incontinent at, at that age. And they all think it's a coincidence. But he says, that's me who's doing that. Does anybody know believe me? One or two people are like, aye, right, these are fucking plants. These are like your family. Is that right, aye? <coughs> fucking hell, now I'm a true believer. And there's like people going like, well, if that guy didn't believe, if that guy didn't believe us, you fucking move on the team with this one. Everybody, everybody else is like, well, that guy didn't believe. If that guy didn't believe, now he's a believer. This is this is fucking for real. And then Craig goes like that, like a fucking, um, you know, all these other people come around like, what's going on here? What's going on here? All these other people come, right? What's going on here? Craig goes like this, with a Mexican wave, like that. Like, air them all, right? And they all go like that. You know, they're all kind of like that. <laughs> Mere people come, they can't believe it. And then he starts going like that. He picks up a wee twig 
There's only grown a wee twig that went into the wee boy. There's a wee boy that had a wee twig, a wee branch for a, that a tree, for a tree that he's been carrying, and a wee boy had dropped it when he farted. And Craig goes, may I? May I have that? And the wee boy goes, aye, all right. So he picks it up, like a conductor, and he goes like that. <laughs> you know that song goes, do, 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 do. <laughs> and it's hard for me to do with a myth, but see, based on the size of their arses, and how he determines he, like the 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 the, the assholes, you know, because you could have like a big fat person, but you could work out they've maybe they've got a kind of tight asshole, so they would be more like, <coughs> and you could see somebody even if they're kind of wee, but they look like they might have a bit of a kind of big asshole. It would be more like, <coughs> like a tuba, and he's walked out and he's been like, can you come forward? Can the base section you you and you? come forward and you, could you go up the back and he, he got the whole of the fuck, the whole of the town man the whole of the town you're talking about, like 10,000 people he takes it up to George Square, he's like that now hear me and he goes like that or that and he does a uh, what's another classic classical tune um, he does that Blue Danube, I think it's do 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 except it's a um flight of the bumblebee does all that and uh do 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 he does them all everybody in the man he does it man the mere people come and the place is fucking humming, man. The place is fucking humming, man. The place is humming, mere people come, mere people come. Mere people come. And he's doing this big fucking, he's like, gets the whole world run, man. He's united the whole world. Cause people start to see him as like Messiah or something. He's like, right, everybody, I'm going to unite the world, man. Because we're all farting here. This is all why you're remembering that we all farm. We all farm. We all farm. We all farm, man. That's a way of going. You're no better than me. Because we all farm. Even the Queen. Even somebody as good as the Queen. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he goes like, get some other girl. And it's a fart for the fucking planet. And he goes like that. He writes this tune. And he's like, they don't know. See, they don't know what the tune's going to be. I have composed this fart tune that's going to bring us all together. It's like, it's like Live Aid. Except it's for everybody. Everybody's in it. And he goes like that. Goes on for about quarter of an hour. Everybody's fucking at the whole place. So it's like the atmosphere's full of fucking methane. It's like right up until night time. Everybody's got their phones in there. Like that. Phones in there for the lights. But then somebody. And Craig's like, that, oh no. Somebody. Oh no. Somebody goes like that. Here. Yeah. I remember the old days, before we had phones, we had lighters, man. We had lighters like this. And Grey went like, no, 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 no. <gasps> fucking earth blows up like the fucking Death Star. And see somewhere, see that smell, it drifted to all air, the universe. And 
and there was aliens there that side of the universe and there was aliens there that side of the universe aliens up down and there's no such thing as up and down the universe but you know what I mean all over the fucking universe and they didn't know what caused it they don't know where the smell came from but all of them all in their wee alien lives they're different things that way of life that alien way of life all of them went like that to the alien next to them you fart you can't no that was your brand definitely and he fucking fart Every cunt starts fucking arguing and fighting, man. There's wars everywhere. Every cunt kills. Every cunt. Every cunt fucking dead, man. Cause, oh, cause Craig had the power to make cunt fart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.